what is moving and what's next. The market has bounced back and will the market resume its bull run since the pandemic? Or is this the beginning of more downside? What should we be looking out for? When the Bank of Japan hiked interest rate at the end of July, it caused the Japanese stock market to tumble more than 11,000 points, with other market follow suits in a three-day meltdown. The Nikkei 225 lost 27% and the Nasdaq dropped 16%. But what triggered this meltdown and what is next? My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel is to study behavioral science and finance, discover correlation between different markets and uncover potential opportunities. Before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read through the disclaimer. And what caused the August meltdown? Yes, we know that it's triggered by the Japanese market. It is the Japanese inflation. It hit a high of 4.3% last year. And the last time the inflation at 4.3% was in 1981. And to achieve their economic growth, the Japanese government always wanted their inflation to climb above par towards 2% goal, but not at the rate of 4.3%. Although it has come down since then, but somehow it has set an upward inflation trend that BOJ is quite concerned, especially against the backdrop of a much weaker yen. And a weaker yen produces inflation. And we can see that the Japanese yen has weakened a fall since 2012. And after COVID, this weakness accelerated by 60% within a four-year period, which is alarming. If the yen's weakness continues, it may bring more hardship to the ordinary people in Japan. And to counter this yen weakness that may potentially lead to more inflation, BOJ did a surprise interest rate hike on 31st July from 0% to 0.25%. And they also say that they plan to reduce its QE program or to reduce its monthly outright purchase of JGB or the government bonds. This move is viewed as BOJ taking a very hawkish stance, meaning they are determined to reduce inflation by increasing interest rates. And the impact to the market? Bad. The Nikkei 225 literally nosedived 20% within four trading days, which also affected the rest of the global stock markets. And in the wake of this stock rout, the BOJ shifted from a hawkish stance to a strongly dovish signal. The deputy governor then states that BOJ would not raise rate. Coating, the bank will not raise its policy interest rate when financial and capital markets are unstable. This kind of eased the market tension and global market began bouncing back. At this point, we can see how crucial BOJ's decisions are to the global stock market. But why? Because of its minus 0.1 interest rates, policy has ended in March this year. In the past, investors would borrow money in Japanese yen and invest, say, in the US dollars. And technically, investors did not have to pay interest rate on their yen borrowings and could earn interest on their US deposit. And some would use these borrowings to buy equities. And maybe now we kind of understand why since 2016, when BOJ shifted its interest rate to minus 0.1%, most stocks market around the world experienced an exuberant growth with these cheap borrowings. This investment strategy is called the currency carry trades. And with the increase in Japanese interest rate from 0 to 0.25% in July this year, it is still possible for investors to deploy this carry trade strategy. However, if BOJ continues to hike rates while the US eases its rates, things could be very different and maybe market will be much more volatile. For the time being, the market is responding well 
or positively to this uptrend in the Japanese stocks. I will continue to buy on dips. And as for the US market, it is also aligned with our June analysis and is currently taking a breather. What was discussed is progressing accordingly. So what is next? Do look out for BOJ's hawkish and dovish stance. A switch back to its dovish mode has saved the day, but the real challenge still lies ahead with the yen's weakness and inflation. Do watch out for all these developments. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you on what is about to come. Really happy that you stayed through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.